Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel. Today we're going to just create a dynamic array using a class. So finally, here we are. Now this isn't going to be a pointer pointer array, it's going to be a regular pointer array, which is the less efficient version, but uh, let's start with this, and then we'll do the pointer pointer one, then we'll do the template versions, and then we'll do all stuff. This stuff is very important because this can be coming on your tests, and this really shows your knowledge of pointers and, and classes. So uh, stick with me here, and let's create a int array. This is dynamic array for integers. So class int array. I'm going to speed through because I've explained a lot of stuff in the previous videos. So I'm assuming that you know a little bit about what's going on here. And this is a simpler version, so uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Now, we need a capacity number of elements per usual. And then we need the actual array pointer, just like that. Then we need the constructor. And this time, we really need a destruct destructor. Excuse me. And uh, since it's a simple array, we just have to delete Theory. We don't have to go through every element. The pointer pointer, we have to go through every element. So, excuse me, I had to sneeze there. Uh, cap uh, 10, 0, new int cap. Bam. We have our array. Finito. Um, let's see. So, in private, we want the expand function and we want the initialize initialize function just like that and in public we want the void add function and we want a what else do we want we want void get at okay we still haven't gone through gone through the uh, what do you call it um, opera, operator overloading because we could use that in this and I'll do that in the coming videos and show you operator overloading within a class which will really 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 help us in, especially in this case where you want to use the, the this operator within or for your, for your class here so uh, but for right now let's just stick to this and it should be fine now what should we start with well int from actually we can start with initialize so that's just a simple for loop where we go from to cap and we say array at position i equals zero. And then expand. Expand is the more complicated one, but for this one it's pretty easy. We multi we double cap, we create a temporary with the new size. We copy over the stuff from the old one uh, equals uh, array position i. We delete the old array. We set the old array to the new one, and we initialize from number of elements, just like that. Now initialize should be above just because it makes more sense just like that so it's a more base thingy more basic function then expand and then int we have this finished that finished now add we can do get add this is a exception throwing function so let's say if index less than zero or index is larger or equal to whoops number of elements we will throw out of bounds exception. Now there are other ways to throw a specific out of bounds exception, but for now this is uh, this is nice. Now integer get at return ray index. So we can actually get the the uh, thingy there. Yes, and then we can have a void pop back to pop the last element in the array. Now, our if it's larger than zero, uh, let's see, it's, uh, 
here we need the pre thingy, so it's gonna go down one, and then it's going to actually uh, put that to zero. Now we don't actually have to initialize it to zero, change the value because it's gone, and then the next time we add something at that slot, we're still gonna change the value. But still, this is going to decrease number of elements and do this. So it's going to decrease it first and then it's going to do this. Because remember, at the actual value number of elements, there is nothing. So we don't want to change that. We just want to go back one step, decrease it, and at that spot there is something, we'll make that zero. But we don't have to. This is not necessary. Is that how you spell it? What you can do is, in this function, just say like this. That's all you have to do in this function, in case number of elements is larger than zero. But I still did this just to clarify what's going on. Um, so there you go. There you go. Else, see out array empty. Okay. Okay. Now remember, no real input output for. Actually, we could just throw. This is not a good idea to throw here. Empty array. But you don't want any input output in in uh, a class, so I'll try to stick to that as much as I can now, and then add. Add is easy. Uh, if number of elements is larger or equal to cap, we'll expand. Okay, then array at number of elements plus plus equals element. Now the reason for plus plus here is it's, it's going to use the old value for number of, number of elements first, and then it's going to it's going to first do this, and then it's going to add one to number of elements. Here the difference is that it uses the new value, the subtracted value, in the operation. So it's going to take if the number of elements is ten here, it's going to make it nine first, and then it's going to do this. So it's going to change the ninth position to a zero. And then it's going to stay, number of elements is going to stay 9. It's not going to just subtract 1 for the operation, but it's going to actually permanently become 9 there uh, until you change it back. So there we go. That's our integer array. So let's create an int array here. Int array. Array. Whoops. Just call it r. R. Okay. R dot add. Let's say add a value 10. And then we'll say, or, oh, we can't do that yet. See, see, uh, we have to learn about that first. Just like that. Let's see if this works. So I hope we don't get any crashes. Uh, we just need system pause. That's how it is. Pause. There we go. There we go. So 10. That's great. That's great. And then we can keep adding 11. Let's just do a few adds here. Just like this. More than 10, which makes it so... Okay. And then what we have to do here is we have to int get elements. And we will just return of elements, just like that, just like that, const, const, okay, that seems great. Uh, okay, what is wrong with you? Let's return. Excuse me. Okay, fine. Why? Why not? Why not? We'll just leave it. Um. So we could do this. Four. Get number of elements. And then we will say. I. Just our usual index showing thingy. Just like that. Just like that. And we have 21 elements. Bam, bam, bam. So it's a working dynamic array. 
like a vector kind of. This is more of a vector because we have pop back here. Um, a real different type of dynamic array would have a remove function which could remove something at any place in the array and then copy over just make everything else go one step back and I'll show that later I just have to make sure I am 100% sure of how I'm supposed to do that and then I will show you that but uh, yeah here you go guys and girls I hope you learned something now uh, this is a good thing to know this is really good to know because you learn about pointers and stuff but uh, thanks for watching thanks for the support take care and I'll see you in the next video bye bye